Alright guys, welcome back and in this video I am going to show you how to get the top level domain for a website. Now if you don't know what the top level domain is, it's basically this part of the URL right here. So not the protocol, not www, not this little directory right here. It's this piece and at first I thought okay so we're gonna have the user post in the URL and then we're just gonna rip out this but what if it's uh, HTTP and not HTTPS and what if they didn't include the www well then we get kinda complex so instead there's actually a module that allows us to do this really easy and if you guys are like why do we even care about the top level domain we already got the URL can't we just use that for all the tools well check this out whenever you run a whois scan which basically tells you information about who bought the domain name look what happens when we try to do it on the full URL it says uh... we can't really handle this full URL in order to run a who is actually let me clear this out so you guys can see in order to run a who is you need the top level domain the new boston.com and then as you can see that is the piece you need to give you all of this sweet info so that's why we need it and now let's get to work so domain name since that's what we're trying to get py alright so how the heck do we get this well you need to go ahead and import TLD and then from here what we can do is we can write git underscore TLD and if you don't know how to import this it's you can go ahead and use pip or you can do it manually or if you're using PyCharm and if you go to file settings and I was messing with my font so you guys could read it e easier on YouTube and right here alright so under your project whatever your project is named go to project interpreter and click this little plus button and if you just write TLD then it's going to be um, right here on the left hand side. Now just select it and write, I don't know if you guys can see this, and then click install packages or package the button down here. I already have it installed so I'm not going to do it again but that's how you install whatever you need to do and also in the upcoming videos if you ever see a package that um, you don't have installed then just do that whatever but this is all you need to do after that. I'm just going to make it um, a function called get domain name and what we're going to do is we're going to pass in the URL so essentially what the user is going to pass in is this right here and it can you know not have this it can have HTTP it doesn't matter and it just makes it a lot easier for the user if they don't have to worry about what format the URL is in so now what we're going to do is we're going to hit domain name and get underscore TLD. Now the only parameter that this needs is the URL and then we're just going to return the domain name. So again this function right here, let me format this so it's alright, it's tweaking out if I don't format it according to the standards. So anyways, what this function right here is it's a built-in function from this package and all it does is you pass in the URL and it gives you the plain top level domain name and just so we can verify that if we just run print oh what was it get domain name alright so let's run this real quick and check it out so we just passed in this the full URL and it returned this the newboston.com and of course it doesn't matter if the uh, www is there or not let's run this boom roasted look at that so looking sweet we can now allow the user the end user that is which will probably be us to pass in any URL and we extract the top level domain looking good see you guys in the next video